confines herself to her proper place. She is not excessive in her bodily movements. There is a stillness in her face. The ruling woman does not take up too much space. She is trim, her voice is low. In public, she is silent. She is a cupcake, not a tray bake or a gatto. Her hands are gentle. Her clothing does not shout. She is the seduced, not the seducer. She has a spiralizer and a juicer. <laughs> she monitors her statistics as if she is a new maths problem every day. She preserves herself in chemicals as if she is a rose in a paperweight. Her face is unreadable. A blank page, she'd rather die than be on stage. She laughs at men's jokes and does not make her own. Her fingernails and her toilets are clean. Her farts are inaudible. <laughs> she says yes and pardon. She knows how to hem bunting and garden. She pushes dirt into corners. She irons sheets and underpants. She never argues in the street. She says down there and pass on and sometimes when nobody can see she pinches the inside of her wrist just to check she is still alive when katie hopkins tells an unruly woman they've eaten too many pork pies they'll buy one from the service station on the way home and tweet her a picture of their mouths biting <laughs> from flaky crust into soft jelly the ruby reds actually did that things they don't need can be farted out with abandon always keep on taking the charcoal tablets and the door open they conduct small symphonies with a mascara wand. Scrawl red reminders in lipstick. They leave traces of themselves everywhere. They are sparkle from the night before, or one of the sequins you'll find weeks later when you find when you're furtering beneath between the crevices of the settee. An unruly woman will talk about everything. As many naughty words as they want, they are a self-help book without the word should in it. Sometimes they talk with tits and teeth, with stick your bum out or buzz like a rampant rabbit, or open their mouths wide as a cave at the bottom of the ocean, and scream like they were told they couldn't when men pressed too hard, leaving bruises like a chain of small islands across their chests. They agreed just that woods to the fireworks they set in their bras, sparks arcing above them like a meteor shower. It's them the men want to talk to, not the size six models who parade mute as the images are on a frozen webcam. If you want to get down a hill by rolling, they will. They don't <laughs> want a career, or a journey, or a dream, just a day out. A day out where you sit at the back of the bus until your knees have gone and the tears roll down your face and you can't stop saying, oh dear. <laughs> the day you bury a pirate and learner. The kids recognise them as seaside and pantomime and unicorns. They grew up too early and now they'll be playing out forever because growing old is 200 dolls house part works and the neighbour saying, your life is such a whirl with a tut in her voice. They know the best place to get themselves is in charge, but sometimes freedom feels like being lifted up onto a table as if you are a centrepiece. Their gussets are gateway. They wear five pairs of knickers. In fact, their knickers are bigger than they are. Inside, they're glitter and glue. Friends are better than husbands, and there's nothing they don't know about each other, including where their scars are and how to shield them from the men whose faces are pressed up against the window of this sisterhood. Sometimes knowing just how much they don't care anymore makes their tummies go round like nipple tassels. They felt death breathe in their ear, like a man standing next to them on a crowded bus. They're ready to kick him in the balls if they need to, or turn round, give him the biggest snog of his life and walk down the steps, wiping him off their lips like a promise. Knowing their joyous revolutions will be dismissed as girls just having fun is half the fun. And sometimes knowing just how much they don't care anymore makes their tummies go round like nipple tassels.